Let's go. 107.3 KFFM. It's another Jubal phone tap. It's time for your phone tap. It's Brick and Jubal in the morning. And in today's phone tap, how do you approach someone who owes you money and they haven't paid you back? Ooh. Mm. Maybe it's been a few months or a few years or even a decade. Do you just forget about it and move on? Do you send them to a collections agency? <laughs> I have a better idea. You send them to me, and then we phone tap them. <laughs> and we all get closure. Yeah. Like in today's brand new phone tap right now. Hello? Hi, I'm looking for Carly. This is her. Hello, Carly. My name is Seth McElroy, and I work over at <laughs> Medical Clinic. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm well, thank you for asking. Listen, I know that you used to be employed at the clinic, right? Yeah, a long time ago, like 10 years. Mm-hmm. So the reason I'm calling is because Janet wanted me to speak with you. Janet still works there? The the receptionist? Mm-hmm, she still works here. Whoa, okay. What does she want? Well, she's not very happy with you, if I'm going to be 100% honest here. <laughs> with me? Mm-hmm. I haven't seen Janet since I left there. And there's a good reason for that. Apparently, before you left, close to a decade ago now, you borrowed a stamp from her and never paid it back. You remember that? What? You said you would reimburse her for it, but you never did? I don't remember that at all. Okay, well, that's kind of a likely story, I guess. Anyway, she's wondering when she can expect payment for the stamp that you borrowed. I can't believe that Janet would still remember or be hung up about a stamp. I know. If somebody stole from me, if somebody stole from me, I'd remember. Okay. I didn't steal anything from her. I never stole anything. I might have borrowed a stamp, but I didn't steal from her. Well, you borrowed it with the promise of giving her another stamp, and 10 years later, still no stamp. So... (laughs) I don't like people taking advantage of others, and that's what you did with Janet. You stole from her 10 years ago and haven't paid her back. You don't have the right to call me and tell me that I owe Janet a stamp. That is so bizarre. I think I have every right. If somebody owed you a stamp from 10 years ago, you'd be pretty upset about it, too. No, I wouldn't. It's a stamp. I would not be upset about that. No normal person would be upset about that. Well, it's clear that you're not a normal person because you have no feelings. What are you talking about? Well, you don't care. You don't even care that you took this stamp. Why should I care? I don't care. I don't care because it was a stamp. And it was 10 years ago. So what are we going to do about this? You know what? I'm going to bring a dollar over there and I'm going to leave it on Janet's desk so this whole thing can just be done with. You know, for most people, I would believe that. But with as callous as you've been through this whole thing, I don't trust that you'll do that. So what I'm going to do is send over a courier to pick up payment from you. Yeah, and you will be charged for that, too. No! You're not sending a courier to come pick up a stamp? This is more ridiculous than it was before! Well, how am I supposed... to a courier? $35. So it'll be... $35? You, you... What? That doesn't make any sense. It'll be a total of... Give Janet $35 and call it a day. No, you give the courier $35. You give Janet a dollar because you owe her that. What are you, some kind of stupid superhero? Flying around, getting... Stamp back the people stole, quote unquote. Yes, I am Stamp Man. Ah! Stamp Man, bull. I don't believe you. You don't believe me? No, that's the most dumb name I've ever heard. Okay, good. I'm glad you don't believe me because this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you. What? It's a prank phone call. Your friend Robin set you up. Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. She says I'm that, gonna kill her. She said that you guys have been pranking each other for years and wanted to get you. I knew it was funny that somebody wanted a stamp from 10 years ago. That's so weird and well, it, off. If you did borrow a stamp from 10 years ago, you owe her some money. I just want to let you know that. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll get right on it. Okay. <laughs> Jubal phone taps. Phone taps. Catch them every weekday at 720 and 920 with Brooke and Jubal in the morning. 1073 KFFM.